Divisions of the Gatekeepers. As for the divisions of the gatekeepers, of the Korahites, Meshalemia the son of Korah, of the sons of Azaph. And Meshalemia had sons, Zechariah the firstborn, Jediel the second, Zebediah the third, Jathneel the fourth, Elam the fifth, Jehohanan the sixth, Elihona the seventh. And Obed-Edom had sons, Shimei the firstborn, Jehozabad the second, Joah the third, Sachar the fourth, Nethanel the fifth, Amiel the sixth, Issachar the seventh, Pulethi the eighth, for God blessed him. Also to his son Shimei were sons born who were rulers in their fathers' houses, for they were men of great ability. The sons of Shimei, Othni, Rephael, Obed, and Elzabad, whose brothers were able men, Elihu, and Simachia. All these were of the sons of Obed-Edom with their sons and brothers, able men qualified for the service, 62 of Obed-Edom. And Meshalemia had sons and brothers, able men, 18. And Hosea, of the sons of Merari, had sons, Shimri the chief for though he was not the firstborn, his father made him chief. Hilkiah the second, Tebaliah the third, Zechariah the fourth, all the sons and brothers of Hosea were thirteen. These divisions of the gatekeepers, corresponding to their chief men, had duties, just as their brothers did, ministering in the house of the Lord. And they cast lots by fathers' houses, small and great alike, for their gates. The lot for the east fell to Shalemia. They cast lots also for his son Zechariah, a shrewd counselor, and his lot came out for the north. Obadidums came out for the south, and to his sons was allotted the gatehouse. For Shuppim and Hosea it came out for the west, at the gate of Shaleshet on the road that goes up. Watch corresponded to watch. On the east there were six each day, on the north four each day, on the south four each day, as well as two and two at the gatehouse. And for the colonnade on the west there were four at the road and two at the colonnade. These were the divisions of the gatekeepers among the Korahites and the sons of Merari. Treasurers and other officials. And of the Levites, Ahijah had charge of the treasuries of the house of God and the treasuries of the dedicated gifts. The sons of Laden, the sons of the Gershonites belonging to Laden, the heads of the fathers' houses belonging to Laden the Gershonite, Jehaeli. The sons of Jehaeli, Zetham, and Joel his brother, were in charge of the treasuries of the house of the Lord. Of the Amramites, the Azarites, the Hebronites, and the Utzilites. And Shavuel the son of Gershom, son of Moses, was chief officer in charge of the treasuries. His brothers, from Elizar were his son Rehabia, and his son Jeshiah, and his son Joram, and his son Zikri, and his son Shalamath. This Shalamath and his brothers were in charge of all the treasuries of the dedicated gifts that David the king and the heads of the fathers houses and the officers of the thousands and the hundreds and the commanders of the army had dedicated. From spoil won in battles they dedicated gifts for the maintenance of the house of the Lord. Also all that Samuel the seer and Saul the son of Kish and Abner the son of Na and Job the son of Zeruia had dedicated, all dedicated gifts were in the care of Shalamath and his brothers. Of the Azarites, Chenaniah and his sons were appointed to external duties for Israel, as officers and judges. Of the Hebronites, Hashabiah and his brothers, 1,700 men of ability, had the oversight of Israel westward of the Jordan for all the work of the Lord and for the service of the king. Of the Hebronites, Jerajah was chief of the Hebronites of whatever genealogy or fathers' houses. In the fortieth year of David's reign search was made and men of great ability among them were found at Jazer in Gilead. King David appointed him and his brothers, 2,700 men of ability, heads of fathers' houses, to have the oversight of the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of the Monocytes for everything pertaining to God and for the affairs of the king.